Hello everyone. Now let us discuss CPT coding guidelines for surgery, integumentary system part 3. In the current session, we will be focusing on destruction of lesions, MOX, micrographic surgery and other procedures. Now coming to destruction of lesions. Destruction in simple term means the ablation of benign or premalignant or malignant tissues by any method with or without curatment including local anesthesia and not requiring closure in general. Now coming to the various methods by which destruction can be achieved. Destruction can be either achieved by electrosurgery or cryosurgery or laser treatment or chemical treatment. Now let us discuss the various lesions. It can be either condylomata, papillomata or molluscum, contagiosum, herptic lesions or warts which can be common plantar or flat, milia, actinic keratosis, benign or premalignant lesion or any malignant lesion. All these following lesions are eligible for destruction. In the current session, we will be discussing about the various CPTs of destruction of benign or premalignant lesions and the destruction of malignant lesions. Now, first coming to destruction of benign and premalignant lesions. The first CPT is 1700, which indicates destruction, for example, by laser, therapy, laser surgery, electrosurgery, cryosurgery, chemosurgery, and surgical curatment. Premalignant lesions, for example, actinic keratosis, first lesion. For the destruction of premalignant lesions, first lesion, you will give 1700. And the next code is an add-on code, hence it is indicated by a plus sign, plus 17003. The description is destruction, destruction, pre-malignant lesions, second, from second lesion through 14 lesions. For each additional lesion, you need to report one unit of 17003. The next CPT is 17004, destruction of pre-malignant lesions, 15 or more lesions. The next is 17106, destruction of cutaneous vascular proliferative lesions, less than 10 square centimeter. 17106 indicates destruction of cutaneous vascular proliferative lesions by laser technique, less than 10 square centimeters. The next CPT involves 17107, which indicates destruction of cutaneous vascular proliferative lesions from 10 to 50 square centimeters. The next is 17108, which indicates destruction of cutaneous vascular proliferative lesions over 50 square centimeters. The next is 17110 which indicates destruction of benign lesions other than skin tags or cutaneous vascular proliferative lesions up to 14 lesions. Destruction of benign lesions other than skin tags or cutaneous vascular proliferative lesions up to 14 lesions. Whereas 17311 indicates destruction of benign lesions other than skin tags or cutaneous vascular proliferative lesions 15 or more lesions. The next is 17250, which is nothing but chemical quarterization of granular tissue. Now let us discuss some of the examples. What CPTs are reported for destruction of 16 pre-malignant lesions and 10 benign lesions using cryosurgery? Here, 16 pre-malignant lesions and 10 benign lesions are destructed. As we all know, we have different CPTs for destruction of pre-malignant lesions and benign lesions. So, how many pre-malignant lesions? 16. So, the appropriate code is 17004. Destruction 
either by cryosurgery, electrosurgery or laser surgery, chemosurgery, surgical curatment, pre-malignant lesions. Here, in total, 16 pre-malignant lesions are destructed. So, 17004 indicates destruction of pre-malignant lesions, 15 or more lesions. And next, 10 benign lesions are destructed using cryosurgery. The CPT for 10 benign lesions is 17110, which indicates destruction of benign lesions other than skin tags or cutaneous vascular proliferative lesions up to 14 lesions. Coming to next example, a patient is diagnosed with actinic keratosis of chest and arm. She presents to her physician office for destruction of lesions. Using cryosurgery, the physician destroys four lesions on right arm, four lesions on the left forearm and four lesions on chest. What CPTs are reported? So, in total, 12 lesions are destructed. Four on right arm, four on left forearm and four on the chest. So, what are the appropriate CPTs? The first CPT is 17000, destruction, pre-malignant lesions, for example, actinic keratosis, first lesion. And in addition, 70, 11 units of 17003 to indicate destruction of pre-malignant lesions, second through 14 lesions. So, here in total, 12 lesions are destructed. So, for the first primary lesion, we are giving 1700000. We are giving 1700 for first lesion. So, 11 lesions are remaining. For that 11 remaining lesions, you are giving an add-on code plus 17003 11 times. Now, coming to the CPTs of destruction of malignant lesions, the first CPT is 17260, which is given by destruction, malignant lesion, either by laser surgery, electrosurgery, cryosurgery, trunk, arms or legs, lesion diameter up to 0.5 centimeters or less. For the lesions of trunk, arms or legs, and whenever the lesion diameter is less than 0.5 centimeters, then you need to report 17260. And the next CPT is 17261, which indicates destruction malignant lesions from diameter 0.6 to 1 centimeter. 17262 indicates destruction malignant lesion of diameter 1.1 to 2 centimeters. 17263 indicates destruction malignant lesions of trunk, arms or legs of lesion diameter 2.1 to 3 centimeters and 17264 indicates destruction malignant lesions of trunk, arms or legs, lesion diameter 3.1 to 4 centimeters. The next CPT is 17266. It indicates destruction malignant lesion of trunk, arms or legs, lesion diameter over 4 centimeters. The next is 17270. It indicates destruction malignant lesion of scalp, neck, hands, feet, genitalia, lesion diameter 0 0.6, 0 0.5 centimeters or less. The next CPT is 17271. Indicates destruction malignant lesion of scalp, neck, hands, feet and genitalia, lesion diameter 0 0.6 to 1 centimeter. The next CPT is 17272. It indicates destruction malignant lesions of scalp, neck, hands, feet, genitalia, lesion diameter 1.1 to 2 centimeters, whereas 17273 indicates destruction of malignant lesions of scalp, neck, hands, feet, genitalia with lesion diameter 2.1 to 3 centimeters. The next CPT is 17274, which indicates destruction malignant lesions, scalp, neck, hands, feet, genitalia with lesion diameter 3.1 to 4 centimeters. 
The next CBT is 17276. It indicates destruction of malignant lesion of scalp, neck, hands, feet, genitalia with lesion diameter over 4 cm. The next is 17280. Indicates destruction malignant lesion of face, ears, eyelids, nose, lips, mucous membrane with lesion diameter 0.5 cm or less. 17281 indicates destruction of malignant lesion of face, ears, eyelid, nose, lips, mucous membrane with lesion diameter 0 0.6 to 1 cm. The next is 17282 indicates destruction malignant lesion of face, ears, eyes, nose, lips, mucous membrane with lesion diameter 1.1 to 2 cm. Whereas 17283 indicates destruction malignant lesion of face, ears, eyelids, nose, lips, mucous membrane with lesion diameter 2.1 to 3 cm, whereas 17284 indicates destruction malignant lesion of face, ears, eyelids, nose, lips, mucous membrane with lesion diameter 3.1 to 4 cm. Finally, 17286 indicates destruction malignant lesion of face, ear, eyelids, nose, lips, mucous membrane with lesion diameter over 4 centimeters. Now let us discuss an example. A patient is diagnosed with superficial basal cell carcinoma of neck and cheek. After discussing with physician about different treatment options, the patient decides to have these lesions destroyed using cryosurgery. Using cryosurgery, the physician destroys the lesions on the neck measuring 2.3 centimeters. So, so the first lesion is on neck measuring 2.3 centimeters and these lesions are malignant lesions because the patient is diagnosed with superficial basal cell carcinoma of neck. So the first lesion is 2.3 centimeters on neck and the next lesion on cheek measuring 0.8 centimeters. So what CPTs are to be reported here? So first malignant lesion on neck measuring 2.3 centimeters. The appropriate CPT is 17273. Destruction malignant lesion on scalp, neck, hands, feet, genitalia. Lesion diameter 2.1 to 3 centimeters. Because the lesion diameter is 2.3 centimeters, we are selecting the diameter range 2.1 to 3 centimeters. And the next lesion is on cheek measuring 0 0.8 centimeters. The next CPT is 17281 along with 59 modifier which indicates the CPT description of 17281 is destruction malignant lesion face ears eyelid nose cheek comes under face so face ear eyelid nose lips mucous membrane lesion diameter 0 0.6 to 1 centimeter because here the lesion diameter is 0 0.8 centimeters we are selecting 0 0.6 to 1 centimeter lesion diameter code now coming to next topic mox micrographic surgery mox micrographic surgery is a technique for the removal of complex or ill defined skin cancer with histologic examination of 100% of the surgical margins. It requires, this procedure requires integration of an individual functioning in two separate and distinct capacities. That is the same physician should function as a surgeon and a pathologist. If either of these responsibilities is delegated to another physician or other qualified healthcare professional who reports the services separately. These codes should not be used. In simple words, the same physician should function as a surgeon and a pathologist. If suppose any of these responsibilities, either surgery or the histopathological examination if it is performed by another physician or another qualified healthcare professional who reports these services separately then mox micrographic surgery codes should not be reported and do not report double eight three one four 
which is nothing but histochemical stain on frozen tissue block in conjunction with 17311 and 17315 for routine frozen section stain. In simple words, whenever we are coding mouse micrographic surgery, that is 17311 to 17315, in that case, routine frozen section stain is usually not coded separately by the CPT 88314. And whenever a non-routine histochemical stain on frozen tissue is utilized, then you can report 88314 in conjunction with 17311 and 217315 along with 59 modifier. In simple words, routine frozen section stain is not reported along with MOX micrographic surgery. Whenever non-routine histochemical stain on frozen tissue is performed or utilized, then you can report 88314 with modifier 59. So what is the process? The mouse surgeon removes the tumor tissue. First, the mouse surgeon removes the tumor tissue, then maps and divides the tumor specimen into pieces. Each piece is embedded into an individual tissue block for histopathologic examination. Each piece is embedded into an individual tissue block for histopathologic examination. Thus, a tissue block in mock surgery is defined as an individual tissue piece embedded in a mounting medium, medium for sectioning. A tissue block is an individual tissue piece embedded in a mounting medium, medium for sectioning. And whenever repair is performed along with mouse micrographic surgery, use the separate repair or flap or graft coats. And if a biopsy of a suspected skin cancer is performed on the same day as mouse surgery, because there was no prior pathological confirmation of the diagnosis, then report a diagnostic skin biopsy, which comes under the code range 31102 or 31104 or 31106, and frozen section pathology 88331 along with modifier 59 to distinguish from the subsequent definitive surgical procedure of mouse surgery. If a biopsy of suspected skin, skin cancer is performed on the same day of mouse surgery because there was no prior pathological confirmation of the diagnosis, then we can report diagnostic skin biopsy and also frozen section pathology along with 59 modifier. Now coming to the various CPTs of mouse surgery. The first one is 17311 which is nothing but mouse micrographic technique including removal of all gross tumor, surgical excision of tissue specimens, mapping, color coding of specimens, microscopic examination of specimens by the surgeon and histopathologic preparation including routine stain. For example, hematoxylin and eosin, toluidine blue. Head, neck, hands, feet, genitalia or any location with surgery directly involving muscle, cartilage, bone, tendon, major nerves or vessels. First stage up to 5 tissue blocks. Here the body parts covered are head, neck, hands, feet, genitalia or any location with surgery directly involving muscle, cartilage, bone, tendon, major nerves or vessel. First stage up to 5 tissue blocks. So whenever mouse micrographic technique or surgery is performed with first stage up to 5 tissue blocks on these following anatomical location, then you must report 17311. The next code is an add-on code plus 17312. 
This is also most micrographic technique including removal of all gross tumors, surgical excision of tissue specimens, mapping, color coding of specimens, microscopic examination of specimens by surgeon and histopathological preparation including routine stain of head, neck, hands, feet, genitalia and any location with surgery directly involving muscle cartilage, bone, tendon, major nerves or vessels. Each additional stage after first stage up to five tissue blocks. That is for second stage or third stage up to five tissue blocks you report this add-on code plus 17312. Now the next code is 17313. This is MOS micrographic technique involving the anatomical location of trunk arms or legs first stage up to five tissue blocks the next is an add-on code 17314 which indicates each additional stage after the first stage up to five tissue blocks of mouse micrographic technique performed on trunk arms and legs arms or legs the next CPT is an add-on code plus 17315, which is nothing but mouse micrographic technique involving removal of all gross tumor, surgical excision of tissue specimens, mapping, color coding of specimens, microscopic examination of specimen by surgeon and histopathological preparation including routine stain, each additional block after tissue blocks each additional block after five tissue blocks any stage now let us discuss an example a 56 year old pro golfer is having mouse micrographic surgery for skin cancer on his forehead here the location is forehead surgery takes him back for two stages how many stages two stages the first stage has four tissue blocks and the second stage has six tissue blocks. There are two stages and the surgery is performed for skin cancer on forehead. And the first stage has four tissue blocks and the second stage has six tissue blocks. So the appropriate CPTs are first one is 17311 which is nothing but mouse micrographic technique which involves the removal of all gross tumor of head, neck, hands, feet, genitalia or any location with surgery directly involving muscle cartilage, bone, tendon, major nerves or vessels. First stage up to five tissue blocks. Here the first stage is with four tissue blocks. So for first stage up with four tissue blocks you will give 71311 which involves first stage up to five tissue blocks. And the second stage has six tissue blocks. The next CPT is an add-on code 17312, which is nothing but mouse surgery on the location, head, neck, hands, feet, genitalia, or any location with surgery directly involving muscle cartilage, bone, tendon, major nerves, or vessels. Each additional stage after the first stage up to five tissue blocks so for second stage up to five tissue blocks you can give plus one seven five one seven three one two so but the second stage has six blocks so one more additional block is there for that one more additional block of second stage you give another add-on code plus one seven three one five which is nothing but each additional block after the five tissue blocks any stage. For each additional block after five tissue blocks any stage you need to report plus 17315. Now coming to other procedures. There are only four other procedures. The first one, the first CPT is 17340 which is nothing but cryopathy for acne. The next is 17360 chemical exfoliation for acne for example acne paste or acid. The next is 17380 
electrolysis epilation each 30 minutes. The next is 1799 unlisted procedure skin, mucous membrane and subcutaneous tissue. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.